Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. So I thought long and hard about how to start out this new game, because I want to in some way make it entertaining again, even though I required a restart. I have no idea what I could have done. If anybody wants to tell me what I could have done better, feel free. I have no idea and I would happily accept the advice, but for now, I'm actually going to go back to classic mode and I'm going to enable some second wave options because well it'll be interesting so I don't want anything that creates like huge random amounts of damage so I'm not gonna go with the damage roulette I am going to go with new new economy also not created equally and hidden potential are probably also good and aiming angels means that flanking is a bit more general so you get bonus damage and percent chance to hit depending on flanks so I'm definitely gonna go with that and then all those are activated yes indeed so let's start the game and skip the tutorial and of course I'm gonna be trying to skip by as much dialogue and cutscenes as possible in the early game so let's go to Africa I always go to Africa because the We're extra funding just inside the Egyptian border. Because the extra funding is so important. Broadcast. Yes, I realize you picked up a goddamn local broadcast. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. So surprisingly enough, no enemies in the first building. I'm just looking at the general layout of the map. I think there are a couple more buildings in the back there that I have to rush through. But I don't trust that there's no aliens in that back room, so I'm going to surround that door as quickly as possible. I've also set it so that everybody speaks their native language, which I thought was a really cool option that wasn't available before. Why could you run so far? Huh. She couldn't run that far. Doesn't matter. I want to keep Roger everyone down. together here. I don't really care about the meld early game, especially since I'm in classic mode. I've decided I have to be considerably more cautious. And I beat the game in classic mode before, but to do that, I didn't rush it, and I'm trying to rush for the meld, which I don't like, so... Oh, well, I can tell where the first meld canister is. So I'm gonna start out by opening this door. Hopefully there's no aliens behind it, and I can head for that meld canister. Which indeed I can. Look out. And hopefully I'll make it in time. It's only three turns, and if there aren't too many enemies in my way, it should be easy pickings. I'm gonna hide a couple guys behind this TV as well. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Wow, that guy has a really deep voice compared to all the other troops. I wonder what these squaddies will be named. I could do the whole sus subscriber thing, but I don't remember enough names right now. I'll have to do that during a live stream at some point. So I think maybe I'll go with some classic names and also some names from... Okay, in the second, um... The second melds in that direction, huh? Visual on the goods. Okay, so let's hide him behind here. Oh, no. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay. Me flanked. It's been secured. So the situation is now a tiny bit desperate. Um, there's two enemies behind this truck and one standing in that corner. So I'd rather take them out without grenades, but that might not be a possibility. So let's see what happens here. One miss. A sippy. I'm on it, you man. go here. This is getting closer to a flank. 36% chance. Two damage. Okay, so um, grenades it is, unfortunately. I really don't like this because I wanted to use the weapon fragments in order for my first research, but I guess I'll do rel meld recombination first. And now I really don't like this because I'm going to have to blow up this car in order to um, kill... There we go. Hopefully that'll take hey, out both Bob. of the sectoids. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Got something over here. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. 
We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay, so that wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad either. Um, fortunately, I managed to take at least one sectoid out without, um, without destroying, well, without blowing it up. But that isn't entirely ideal. 45, 45, and 45. Can I increase those odds in any way? Well, I can hide behind some heavy cover really easily, so... And she doesn't have a grenade left, so she's the one who got kills. So it's not important that she gets new kills because she is already promoted. It doesn't say so, but any rookie who gets a single kill, I'm pretty sure, is promoted on the first mission. That might actually apply for all missions, but I don't know that. You are already behind heavy cover and have fairly good chances to hit. So I'm going to just take shots here. And my main strategy is I'm just going to make sure that I have heavy cover. I'm not going to care about rushing. I'm not going to care about... um about getting the kill. Okay. They can come to me if they really want to. Yeah, I guess you just overwatch since you don't seem to have a clear shot from there. You have two shots, but I'd rather you just hunker down. And now I might have to break my heavy cover rule. Can okay. I go behind here and get a shot? No, I'll just have to overwatch. So these should be all the sectoids in this level. Fortunately, this one is actually making a run for us, so it's considerably easier to see and hit, and shot and kill. Unfortunately, I think he is the one who got another shot before. So I actually want you to retreat from your position. And sure, why not? Draw the Overwatch shot, just don't get hit. Oh good, she didn't get hit. I didn't think she would listen to me there. Oh, and destroyed everything. You killed them all! Okay. So, I'm going to want you okay. to take a shot. 41% chance to hit. And shot and killed. Dead and gone. Good work out there, strike one. If you ask me, that was a rather successful mission. So, my new strategy. Pretty much take my time Commander in my missions and level up Commander single units more. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Excellent work, Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the meld substance without any casualties. The assault class or even being scratched, really. They're the first ones into a fight. I'm really just trying to interrupt all the conversations because I have the volume turned up in the um, dialogue so that you guys can actually hear it. I know I had some audio balancing issues before. So let us go into... Let us go into our research, or our barracks right now, and I'm going to view the soldiers. And, you know, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I think I am. I'm going to take a couple of my squaddies and name them after some of the subscribers I remember the most. I hope I don't offend anyone, but these two are people who comment all the time. Well, one is somebody who comments all the time, and one is somebody who has been watching my videos since I started playing Earthbound. So this is going to be, this is going to be Minjul. Actually, first name, first name can be whatever. Last name has to be Minjul. What, what's your rank? Support? How about, um, help me, help me Minjul. Just a good luck name. And they will speak English. And I, of course, will give them a fucking crazy ass costume. Let's see, what can I do for hair? Yeah, Minjul can have a hat. I think Minjul will wear that. This armor deco, and for tint, let's see. Hmm, I, I'm considering blue. What's, what's like a medical color? The medic should be in red. Red's a sign of like blood and medicine, so why not? And then the snipe, the assault will be customized. Um, this is going to be a bit different because I'm not actually using the name that 
this person currently has on YouTube, but I'm using the name they used to have. So this is going to be Ick Bin, as in I am, Olaf. And Olaf is going to be a girl, I doubt she is, uh, I think, I don't know where exactly Olaf is from, I think it's like Switzerland or Sweden, but I'm going to leave the language on German and then just give him like some crazy, crazy hair and helmets and all that jazz. There we go. He can be a helicopter pilot. I wonder if those, well of course those headphones have an audio feed. Why else would they have a speaker on them? So let's go Armor Deco. I like that Armor Deco actually. And Ikbin Olaf can be in. Oh, I'm trying to remember his current icon. What color is it? Oh well. Ikbin Olaf can be purple. Everybody gets to be silly colors. Nobody gets to be normal colors. And this right here, my sniper, is actually going to be Japanese. So you know what? This is Banazuma. This is, um, this is, hmm, what should I name him? Just Mr. Just Mr. Because I know for a fact that Banazuma is Japanese, and Banazuma should definitely, definitely be yellow. So let's go ahead and go for as bright of yellow as I can. I know there is one more brighter yellow than that. Yeah. Also, hair slash helmet. What do you get? Banazuma, I think, gets, um, gets a bray and not that specific head. That's, that's good enough. I like that. Lovely. <laughs> Squatty Mr. Bonazuma. Squatty Help Me Minjul and Squatty Ikbin Olaf. Hopefully none of them die anytime too soon. So I have 31 days to the council report. Um, ideally I'd like to go for that money build again. I'd also like to see exactly how my we facilities are laid out. To grow up here. But if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So this is actually a fairly good setup because you do not want to be building too many power plants and they have two steam vents, which I can fairly easily excavate to. And these will give 20 power instead of just like six. So let's scan for activity really quick here and hopefully something comes up fast. I said fast, please come up fast. Yeah, okay. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So I only have three. Hmm. I almost want to clear one of my current units, like maybe Banazma here, and instead get a second rookie so I can try to level up several people. But instead, I'm going to launch the mission. I'm also going to be going for an officer training school as quickly as possible, as quick as I am able, and I'm going to take a big down. sip of my cranberry and club soda that I have here. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Yeah, going to help the Aussies, are we? I always appreciate that. I have lots of friends in Australia. And by lots of friends, I mean people I haven't met face to face, of course. This is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. But I do talk to them all the time. So I have actually found one meld canister, which I definitely want to go pick up, but I'm going to have to try to stay behind heavy cover. Because remember what I said was important. Being more cautious is super important right now. Unfortunately, neither of them actually ha hid behind the meld canister, which is great things for me. Roger Dodger. Oh, shut up, Minjul. Roger Dodger my ass. Now, can it. It, can um, Banasma get a shot from here? No, so I'm gonna have to like run behind this 24-hour McDonald's sign, or whatever it is. And now he's exposed to two people, but you know, I've never minded exposing Banasma to danger in the past, so I shouldn't mind now. 
And this is incredibly fortunate. I couldn't have hoped for more than a mind meld here, especially considering one of them's trying to actually hide behind the meld, which I don't want to destroy, so I definitely want this guy dead. So I could run up and get a kill with Ikman Olaf here, but I would rather not because Ikman Olaf is pretty strong just even level 1 as a squaddy. So I'd rather get the kill with Benazma, which is a 53% chance. I wish I could somehow blow up the cover or make this a bigger chance, but I'm going to try for a headshot here anyways. See what happens. Yes! Oh man, I've really got to turn those kill cams off so it's always this tense when I take a shot. So now I think it is quite reasonable to dash two people over here. You know, just to clear out the whole area as fast as possible. If I am correct, there should be four to six alien or six to eight aliens in this mission. I'm not entirely sure how many, but I do know. I do know about the disco. Okay, just making sure there is nothing crazy going on. So now I've run into problems because now I've revealed two squads of these guys at once. So what I'm going to need to do is split up my units, and I think that's going to involve putting my support back here and taking an 85% shot? Awesome. Yeah! I'm super psyched about that. Um, remember, some of these people may have increased stats because of the options I've put on. Like I. Health 5, Will, Offense 67, Defense 40. I don't know what any of that means, to be honest. I've never really looked at the stats before. But I'm assuming it means nothing bad. So who do I have left to move? I only have you left to move. I wish this cover was more solid, because this is actually cover that can be blown up. So I think the most I can do is try to go for this shot. 18%? How about with a pistol? 58% might as well take it next turn I can run a gun if necessary or take another shot with a pistol for a possible two damage also I'm using all the possible available cover I think running guns now the option since he's using a mind meld <coughs> remember I remember all that you said told me if you kill one mind one out of two mind melded guys the other will die I guess I can't make that a song <laughs> Ow! Don't be shooting Nick Ben Olaf like that. Ben Olaf's a cool guy. Hmm. I was actually really hoping for a okay. shot on this sectoid over here, but that doesn't seem to be happening. And that means. Hmm. That means I'm going over here with Benazima, and that I'm going to actually run and gun and kill this guy around this corner. This isn't ideal, but it's not that bad either. It's not that bad. I'm so cold and wondering why I can't... I don't... Oh, shit! I forgot to change weapons, but it all turned out. Fucking thankfully. Let's go around this corner with... Uh oh. And there are the two last ones, so there were eight total enemies here. Which isn't really ideal. Um, 62, 60, 50. Let's try for you. I did do three damage there, but now I'm at great risk. So much risk, in fact, that I'm going to use a grenade, and I'm going to just barely... Oh. The thing is, that window becomes transparent when I throw a grenade at it. So what I'm going to need to do is get behind some not-so-great cover. Heading out. Need to protect my new squatty. That's 78, this is a 61. This will do the trick. 
frag out. Again, I'd rather not be using frags, and I forgot to pick a research project. Ugh. Why must I be so bad? Okay, this might be the most risky mind meld of all time. Unfortunately, no shots for Benazma now, except for maybe with a pistol? Yes, Commander. Might as well try for a pistol shot. 65% chance to hit. Up to two damage, which could kill it. Unfortunately, that's Damn a miss. It. Hmm. Don't have run and gun Enemy left and over. probably can't get to a shot with her, so I'm just going to overwatch in case somebody comes around the corner with a shotgun. Thank you. Okay. And then this should be super easy. A super easy double kill. Unfortunately, there's no real good cover for me to go behind for this kill. So... This might count as a flank right here. I don't have aches. It does indeed, 70% chance to hit. I should probably use a grenade to guarantee the kill, but I can... Wait, can I always do that with my medic? Oh, never mind. I pressed cap locks instead of tab, so I just ended up firing. Yes, no. Apparently there was nothing to worry about, so... I guess I'm all good. And I could not have gone for the kill with this guy. But I am going to throw down a smoke grenade, make both of us harder to hit. You might as well use your supplies every mission because they do restock in between missions. I'd be all tactical and shit. Really? You're overwatching? Well, I do have a shot with um myself, or with with Benazma here. 41% chance is not great, but I'm going to go for it anyways with a headshot. Because I could use the promotion. Nailed him. And I made it. Mission accomplished. I'm a mime. Eight enemies, barely a scratch taken. I think one of my soldiers is injured, but I do have my rookie who earned a promotion. Commander to the situation room. Commander. The heavy the weapons room. specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. So I got a medal, and if I learned one thing. It's we that I always should touch, award Commander. my medals right the fuck Commander, away. You can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. So I just gave plus five defense because defense is more important than attack against enemies in full cover because this gives us defense even when we're in partial cover. So let's rename this to your the covering the ass award. Cover your ass. Cover your ass award. Lovely. And I will award my first version of this medal to... Well, really, I'd like to give it to Ikbin Olaf, but he's wounded right now. He might not be prepped in time for the next mission. So Commander, instead, I will give room. it to Gertrude Commander, Wagner to here, room. who I have fucking got to rename. Oh, man. This is definitely Roll Fizzle Bitch. Look at her. She just yells roll fizzle bitch at me, and I have to have the myself... The new engineers a... arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Customize first name, roll, second name, fizzle bitch. Awesome. And of course, roll fizzle bitch cannot be in a normal costume. I think Roll Fizzle Bitch needs the hat from Classified, as well as... Can I actually... Oh, just changes her eyebrow colors. Weird. Purple eyebrows. And... Let's give her this. And an armor tint. Yeah, green. Alright. Perfect. And now I really want to build that engineering bay, because I need to. Well, actually, I don't need to. Yes, I do need to. Well, let me go check this out. Build facilities. If I build the engineering bay, and then the satellite, yes, I need to. So, workshop is what I meant, actually. Work crews are on their way to begin construction. 
I'll send word when the new facility is operational. So that's 10 days, and then I have enough money just barely. Actually, I don't, so I'm going to sell some stuff to buy three satellites. I don't want to launch satellites. I don't have any satellites. Ain't got nothing to want launch. So because of the new economy, all these countries give me random amounts of money. As opposed to what they used to give us, which was always set. Let's, um... Visit Grey Market. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. And Commander, he's gonna give me heck now? The artifact we're about to sell to the Council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be... disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. Okay, so I just need to build those satellites before 20 days remaining, so I have some time here. And now I have to build satellites. Lovely. And how many credits do I need to build um, four of them or three of them? Because three of them is how many I can launch. 231. Can I get that in any way? Because I think it would be worth it if I can. So if I sold six corpses, that'd be 30 more dollars. So that'd bring me up to 200. And then I have to sell every single one of my weapons, weapons fragments. And I have to Commander, assign a research project. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first. But every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. I have fucked up so bad. Us? Why abduct humans seemingly... Can you shut up, please? I'm already disappointed in myself without having to listen to your bullshit. Okay, so I guess um, I guess having two two satellites is gonna have to do me. Do 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 ya do ya do me. Do 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 ya do ya do me in full. And if I'm talking to myself, then yes, I do do me in full. I fuck myself over bad all the time. Contact detected. Lovely. We have eyes on the bandit. Not to mention, Ikbin Olaf is back in active duty, which is the one plus to having this encounter happen so late. So let's leave the report, go to the UFO crash site. Assault sniper heavy support is exactly what I want to see for this mission. I would also like to see, um, you know. Strike one. Prepare for land. Myself not be completely fucked over by my own ineptitude, but you can't always get what you want, apparently. But if you try, this sometimes. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. So just hopping forward, small bits at a time. I should really be doing half the team than the other half of the team. Yeah, that's the reason. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh, hey, a meld canister. Awesome times. So let's go, um, Ben Asma first here. Try to find some good cover for him and maybe a possible shot. Already Which means there. right there. Again, leveling up the snipers the just goods. to start are, is really fucking tough, but then it becomes easier and easier as time goes on. Time Red goes four. on and you're singing the song. And the world's growing older all around you. Life goes on and you need some more cranberry juice. Mmm, juicy and seedless. But most cranberry juice is by definition juicy and seedless. Ikpin Olaf died. Well, that really sucks. Sniper Rifle does get a shot. I'm going to try to ignore the fact that I've already lost a unit just due to bad placement and not knowing where I was going. Um, and... I'm gonna want to get behind this cover and hopefully not reveal any more aliens. There may only be three aliens on this mission and one sectoid fucking crit. <sighs> so disappointing. And since I have full vision on this area, I can probably dash all the way up Already here there. fairly safely. 
and I want to get my sniper in position to possibly attack the outsider. So all I want is higher ground and high cover. So this should do the trick. Roger, Dodger. No, don't dodge her, just Roger. Don't be rude or anything. So, again, leapfrogging. Just want to make sure I'm behind heavy cover because you saw what happened there. The thing is, when I started moving, I didn't know the direction I was going in, so I didn't put ourselves in the right cover. Which, in the end, okay, led to her. death. Lots and lots of death. So, if I'm not mistaken, I will now get, like, sounds. No. But I will get the location of the next metal canister. Okay, I want you behind Understood. here. Moving out. Lovely. When you have a level one sniper, always goddamn that dash them. Then I want you. Hmm. Over Hello, here. Colleagues. And then beside this door. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Okay, so I'm just setting up the breach here because I know the second I open this door, an outsider is going to appear. So I think the breach is going to have to start. Oh God! Here they come. That is not at all good. Wait. Yes. Okay. Let's ignore that. And just overwatch and overwatch. And then we can carry on. Thankfully they did not spread out very far, but I think that might have meant death for like half my unit if I had kept that up. Our readings can't be right. Yes, they can. Yes, they were. That's a being of almost pure energy. Are we talking like potential like energy, kinetic energy? Craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Okay, thank you for the warning. Can I get a shot with the sniper? No. I can probably get a shot with you, but more importantly... You have like a 57% chance of hitting twice, which I'm going to go ahead and take. There we go, three damage. And... Oh, did you move this turn? Oh. Heading there now. 44% chance. I'm going to have to use a grenade here. I don't like it much, but not using one could mean death. Oh and my squad is my most important asset right now. Chalk up another one. Got both canisters of meld and heading back to base. I'm going to try to completely ignore how disappointed I am with the goddamn research that I've been doing, but can't always help myself. Oh, council report in 17 days. I should have extra money in the gray market. UFO flight computer, I could sell the power source, as it will probably be a while before I want to research it anyways. That would give me the extra money I need in order to, yeah, I'm going to do it, in order to build the SAT facility. Workshop's done in two, so let's scan. Commander, oh. we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, I'd normally go for the engineers right away, but I have everything in hand with the engineers. I'm instead going to go for the $200 because I need extra money to build and buy facilities shortly. So I have a sniper at heavy a support as usual. This time though I have rookie Mufadl? Mufadl? Where are you from? Okay, no, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Just wondering where the name Mufadl might be coming from. Touching down. Time to begin the assault. The next deployment site is in the UK. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack. You mean like every alien abduction? 
Okay, fair enough. Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Thing is, I used to know almost all the maps, and now I'm a tiny bit lost. Moving. So let's see what happens when I open this door. Nothing yet, okay. Orders confirmed, on the move. Alien object in sight. Okay. Hmm. Nothing yet at all, and nothing in that alley, so I guess I can run behind okay. the convenience store snacks with my remaining units and hope. I hope, I hope, I kid, I kid. Moving out. And then Benazma will go for the roofs because Benazma gets to be in the most amount. Oh, I'm in this map. There could be enemies in this room over here. I damn well hope not. And I'm going to hide Benazma behind that big sign. Because I'm pretty sure that counts as full cover and it's a huge advantage on high ground. Hmm. Now what I should really do before anything is open this door and see if we're going to be flanked. Okay, not quite what I expected, but that'll have to do the trick as well. One of them might be in range of my sniper, actually. No, okay. But I do have a rookie. And rookies okay. have, rookies are made for leveling, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, this rookie is going to level all over you. <laughs> if you know what I mean, ladies. Had to end it with that. I apologize. There we go, we got one rookie with a promotion. I'm on it, Commander. Let's move Minjul over to the other side of this. Really? No, no shots? Okay, Overwatch it is, I guess, or maybe a smoke grenade. And then Benazma is going to have to hide behind this sign, and then hunker down. Hunker like a motherfucker, Benazma. You can do it. We can help. And we got a mind meld, which could mean a rank up for my sniper. And one rank up for a sniper gives them squad shot, which makes them immediately a thousand times more useful. I'm taking fire. So let's go Benazma first here, 51 and 53. Go for the headshot. Because you don't want to do two damage. Not even sure if it's possible to do two damage, but to hell with doing it if it is possible. So you already probably have a promotion, but you can go for this shot anyways. Well, to be honest, you should probably move first, because I'm definitely going to take out Position these aliens confirmed. in time. 40%? There we go. And man, he actually got him. That is amazing. You have a 25% chance of hitting. Open this door first and see if you can get a better shot off on more aliens. Indeed, you cannot. So instead, you should probably move behind full cover right here. And go for... Still 25% chance? Some bad odds. Never tell me the odds. See? They're always I'm wrong generous. anyways. Well, not that odds can be right or wrong. Well, they can. You can miscalculate the odds, but just because the odds don't turn out doesn't mean that they're wrong, per se. On the move. Positive enemy contacts. Wow, I should have really have gotten that meld. Or, you know, something like that. Okay, so we definitely have a mind meld, which could mean another double kill for um, Minjul here. Not that I think Minjul's ever gotten a double kill, but... It could mean a double kill for Minjul. Let's put it that way instead. Overwatch? This is your turn, guys? You are bad. Let's go for this. Because I might as well. Benazma, come on, you can do it. Come on. Always disappointing me, Benazma. Always holding up the crew. This does indeed count as being under full cover, so I'm going to do it. And then collect. 
lovely. I could just fire a rocket. But I don't want to live my life on one side of an ampersand. Even if I go with you, I'm not the girl you think I am. And I'm not gonna something, I'll lose my voice completely. I don't know the lyrics to that. Hmm. You never cover behind gas canisters is what I've learned from this. But I think I may um, use this opportunity to actually take one of these guys out with a rocket. Or just, no, I'm going to take the 25% chance to hit. It's not great, but it'll have to do. That'll that do, pig. Amazing. That'll do. And by pig, I mean fizzle bitch. <laughs> That'll do, fizzle bitch. That'll do. I like that. I like that a lot. Taking fire over here. There we go, got another lovely miss. Again, standing by behind full cover, such a huge advantage in this game. And this time we don't have overwatch, so that means flank time. Well, actually first, that means, um, let's try for this 53% chance to hit again. I need you to rank up, Benazuma! Oh, god damn. Adjusting sights. God damn you, Benazuma. You told me we'd sail the seas for American gold. Yeah, Benazma never told me that. I'm lying. I'm lying through my teeth. I'm lying through my ass. I'm basically lying through every orifice in my body at the same time. Even my pores. My pores are lying. I don't smell how people think I smell. Not that I'm saying that I smell really badly, but I don't smell how they... Oh, fuck. I'm digging myself deeper into this pit by the second. On our way. So where are the last of these aliens? Where are you, alien? Where are you, alien? Oh, I see. Look sharp! Enemies rolling up. Yeah, I don't blame them. Fruit roll-ups are goddamn delicious. Probably should have done some reloading last turn, but that is perfectly all right. Instead, I'm going to dash Benazma up behind some further cover. And... Oh, I didn't dash him up behind cover. I missed. Seventy-eight percent chance. I'm going to throw a grenade here. I really have to protect Benazma. Is that even closer? Let's see, it's one, two, three, four... Five. Okay, am I directly? That's five and. Oh. Um, who do I have? I have you. I don't think there you're you going go. to be useful. So you Overwatch. This is more full cover. You also overwatch. And you go behind partial Moving cover, up. which I know is against my my rule that I stated earlier. But I want to protect that sniper. Going out. So that's what I had to do. He could take some damage, he could even die to a critical hit at this point, but... Damn, that was close. But he didn't. And now there's full cover here, which won't even explode if I if it gets hit. I like that a lot. Okay, so your turn. How about a rocket? Sing us the song of the rocket man. Just to see if, if that... Oh. If that actually, um, why, why aren't you firing? There we go. Sometimes the rocket just won't fire. It's really strange. Is that still not everyone? Really? That many aliens? Jesus. Jesus Christ Almighty Ninja. I need to get you behind cover again. And three more aliens. Hell's Bells! Okay, so... Now... 
Maybe I can get a shot here. No. And I can't dash to any better cover, so I guess now is probably a good time to reload. It's killing time. Moving to Again, position. full cover that doesn't blow up. Reload. It's and I'm probably going to need to do this whole rigmarole one more time. I once rigged a marole. A marole? I don't even know what I'm talking about. What? I, I rigged a marrel to blow up. I exploded a marrel. Ooh, and finally I took damage. It, it was kind of inevitable. It it was going to happen eventually. Pretty much what I'm going to say to that. It's raining death over here. It really is. You're just being fucking bombarded by plasma. Verstanden, Commander. I think it's more important that I take a shot than reload, or maybe throw a grenade. I could blow up cover for other people. Um, no, I can't. That that won't do anything. Instead, I'm going to reload here. You have quite a few shots, but no grenades left. 45, 45, and 45. Well, if they're all 45, I know exactly who to go for. Missed. Negative damage. Ten four. I think right there is my best bet. And then with you, oh, I don't even know. Go for a flank? I don't think they can actually get in to flank him from that position, and he can get in to flank all of them. Seems likely. Please do another mind meld. Mind melds are helpful to me. I'm not sure if they actually increase the aim and other stats of these sectoids, but they might. They may indeed. Are you overwatching? Please overwatch. Oh, it's not overwatching. I'm all right. And that's why you don't hide behind gas canisters. Only really close to them close. from plasma fire. Makes sense if you don't think about it at all. Only 25% chance to hit, huh? 45? It's the best I can do. Am I just going to be like endlessly Gun stuck in this shootout? Um, I really need to adjust my, my camera view. Okay. Heading to that location. So I do have a shot from here. I also have a grenade, which I can use to blow up some cover. Grenade out. I'm not getting any kills with this, but that doesn't really matter as long as the cover's gone. On it. And now I can even get this meld. Wait a second. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mufadal must be South African, right? That, that must be it. 65% chance here since the cover's gone. And I don't get a second shot because I have not yet earned a promotion. Please don't kill anyone. Whoa. Okay, does does Benazma have a shot here? That's who I want to have a shot. 40% chance, better than nothing, go for the headshot for no particular reason. Come on! Missed again. Adjusting sights. Moving. I really want to make sure this meld. I, I know I probably could have killed that last sectoid raid in that situation, but I'd rather get the meld. That involves a dash, but at least it gets me into range. And then um, I guess just reload with Min, with Minjul here. And Overwatch. Lovely. Lovely. Hmm, yes, indeed. Indubitably. Oh, at least 125% shot, one 45% shot, and one 33% shot. Go for that first. 
Yeah, you might want to face towards the, yeah, okay. Facing towards the target is generally the first, um, first thing you ever learned how to do in sn when sniping. If I shoot enough bullets at it, something will hit eventually, right? That's that's how guns okay, work. Next time. Heading to that location. Overwatch and can I hit it with a grenade? This is starting to kind of piss me off. Yes, I can. I know I probably used too many explosives here, but I do not mind because I Another have finally day. won. Another successful operation. Ten aliens. My god. I hope everybody earned a promotion, although Banasma probably didn't. Fucking holding up the crew. Oh, Banasma did earn a promotion. Squad site it is. Bullet swarm allows me to shoot several times. Extra movement, very, very useful. And a new run and gunner. Who, unfortunately, is going to be um, a South African version of Chuck Norris. Also, I have medals I forgot to assign, but I didn't take any damage last Remember, mission anyways, so... we will be watching. So, time to not visit the Grey Market. Brazil's, like, entirely panicked. Good thing I want to put a satellite there anyways. So, uh, what I want to do is view the soldiers. I'm afraid I'm going to have to be racially insensitive here because I want a Chuck Norris. A Cuck Norris. There was another name that was recommended to me that really made a lot of sense, but I forget it. It was another, like, action star or something. N-O-R-I-S. Because Chuck Norris has no fear. He's always in the front of combat with a shotgun. Let's make sure he speaks English. Let's change his race to unfortunately white. His head to a bit less dopey looking. His helmet and hair... Well, I actually don't mind his hair, but he needs facial hair. He needs, like, a big-ass beard. And his hair type should actually be different, too, now that I think of it for a second. This might be the, the right one. And his hair color should... Yeah! Now that is Chuck Norris if I ever saw him, which I'm not sure if I ever have, actually. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure I have, and I'm pretty sure this is what he looks like. Perfect. Perfect. Now I have lots of money. I have plenty of meld. I... Can I build... I can excavate, huh? I was gonna say, can I build a power generator without taking up power? Which I think I can. But I need the satellite uplink and I need... <coughs> two days in order to get it. And I'm not... Wait, can, can't can I unpanic Brazil by putting a satellite up? Yes, I can. Okay. Panic already in Brazil, huh? Additional workshop online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Satellite uplink is a go? Is an ego, really. Access lift is currently impossible. How's my research doing? What is my research right now? And, okay, meld recombination is still gone. Council, I will have it just in time. My satellite uplink, that is. Sign new research. Weapons fragments. I should maybe focus on getting armor really quickly, but I don't know. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure this... Excavation complete. Oh, excavation complete. Fuck. Build facilities. Excavate more. Build a power generator for us. And then I need to build the access lift after the power generator is done. Assign new research. Scope is now available for purchase, which I will definitely be making really quickly. And I think I need... 
like absolutely need to I do xenobiology. That would be a priority research task, Commander. I expected you would shut up sooner. Why are Oh, satellite uplink is going first. I was looking at power generator. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. Okay. Ready to deploy I need to launch orders. these fucking immediately. Launch satellites, Brazil and Argentina. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Wait, two... I have the satellite uplink. What are you talking about? One day remaining? I thought I had this all in time. Okay. Um, view ship list here. I need to transfer one of From these here, to you South can America. To have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much. I do not care. Satellite uplink complete. Okay, now I have the satellite uplink, and I can launch one more satellite. Oops. No, not United States. Argentina. Two hundred dollars per month. Yes. Satellite launched. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was very close to already causing me quite a bit of panic. Let's also go to the medals, because I've earned new ones. Defender's Medal, Assign Power, Extra Healing, yes. Rename Medal, Bandage My Ass, Bandage My Ass. I'm going to award this to Chuck Norris since he is an assault. He will always be in the fray and probably quite often hurt. International Service Cross, assign power plus two aim for each um, bonus is my favorite. Aim ski medal of ass. This is the aim ski medal of ass, which I'm going to award immediately to my sniper. Because that's the smart thing to do, really. Okay. Power generator complete. Now I need to assign new construction, build facilities. Access lift, begin construction, excavate. Now I can actually eventually destroy that power generator. But the other thing I'm going to want is... You know, I'm going to go with a genetics lab this time. Look at how cheap that is. And it will be expensive to genetically modify things, but, you know, only slightly. And Nightmare Council report's coming up, so... Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So anyway... We will be in touch, Commander. That was a very long episode, but a lot happened. The reason I'm going for a genetics lab first is because I always get We Have Our Ways, which allows me to finish interrogations instantly, which means that I get tons of biological powers, which is great. Um, I know this was a long episode. I thank you guys for having the patience to sit through it. It was actually very exciting for me. I really did enjoy it. And I hope you did as well. If you have made it to the end of the episode and enjoyed it, which I'd assume you did, please leave me a like, I guess. Yeah. Scumming it up for YouTubes. See you later.